Carrie's pulling off the other part of this impossible mission. Getting hold of Grant's thumbprint. Grant doesn't think we can covertly get a hold of his fingerprint. He gets really suspicious every time Jamie or Adam comes over here. So I'm going to have him copy a stack of CDs and hopefully that way we can get a hold of his fingerprint. He's gonna come through the store any minute. It's freaking me out. Carrie's turned double agent to try to snare Grant's thumb and a CD case may be the perfect foil. And bingo, he takes the bait. Remember how you said we couldn't covertly get your fingerprint? Easy as pie, but Grant's not amused. Yes, I told the producer yesterday that it would be almost impossible to covertly get my fingerprint. Apparently, I was wrong. You weren't expecting a double agent, were you? Yeah, from our own team! <laughs> With the master print under wraps, Jamie successfully dusts it off. Look at that. Scans it in, and when he prints it onto acetate, he has one of those Heinemann moments of genius. As you can see here, the prints that we were getting are all kind of jaggy looking. It's not real clean lines. So I realized that I can go back in in this scale with a marker and clean up these jaggies, and then we can shrink it back down, and we'll retry our etch and see if that works. It's a fine line, but with both Jamie and Grant's prints cleaned up, first impressions are that this might just work. Dude, I think it's perfect. With their hopes raised, it's back to the etch. But in case you're thinking of trying this at home, maybe we've edited out one crucial step. So, sorry, but you can't. Jamie? Yeah? These look beautiful. Good. I think they're really, really good. Yeah. Jamie makes new gel prints, and then it's all ready to test. This time, the computer doesn't reject it straight away. It reads it, reads it some more, and then... Access granted. Yay! We got it. Yes? Yes. Dude! Worked. You just made my day. With access granted on the computer, it's time to access Grant's super lock. But that's taking things to a whole new level. Welcome, Jamie. Hey! <laughs> so it works. Fantastic. That is awesome. Me just tasted success. Using a ballistics gel fingerprint, they beat the computer scanner. Welcome, Jamie. Hey! <laughs> right. So it works. So next up, it's Grant's fingerprint lock that has his thumb as the master. To rise to the challenge, Adam's getting hot under the collar. He's fetched the etch of Grant's covertly obtained print and has made a latex copy that he's going to plant straight onto his warm, sweaty, pulsing thumb. Okay, so you guys ready? Yeah, we've been working on this for days, and I think we have a couple things that might work. Cool. Okay, well, I'll be here. All right. All right. You first. Okay. My patented Imahara thumb. But it's a bad start. Adam resets and tries again, but nothing. With this technique dribbling towards busted, Adam tries licking the latex. Hey, hey! And he's in. He has set off the next alarm, but the finger's been foiled. I don't care about the alarm, it works, man! No way! <laughs> that is latex glued to my thumb. But they're not stopping there. Well, that's one down. Shall we try uh, all of our other techniques? Next up, it's Jamie, who's made a regular ballistics gel print of Grant's thumb. And guess what? Yay! Hey! Nicely done! <laughs> that's two for two! No way! <laughs> At this point, the one we bought for the computer is a lot harder to break than this one. Yeah. Well, I say we move on to the copy paper now. With everything they do working, the team goes for broke by trying the photocopy of Grant's print. No warmth and no pulse, just a licked piece of paper. <laughs> this is dope! What is this? Well, there's your problem. <laughs> oh, no. So the myth that fingerprint locks can't be foiled is busted.